Hey everybody, it's Mike from Rolling Into Retirement. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to do is bleach our fresh water tank, give it a nice cleaning. It should be done once a year. So stay tuned. Okay, so what we've done is we've, I have my pump and I've got the hose connected from the outtake of the pump into the fresh water tank fill. I'll show you here. Some like my fifth wheel had a uh, regular spout connection. You would have to stick a cut hose in there and I actually still had that fresh water cut hose because what I'm going to do here is take that and that's going to go into the into the bleach mixture uh, this is a three gallon bucket so I've put in three quarters of a, a cup in this three gallons and then I'll put in another three gallons with another three quarters so that'll give me the uh, a mixture that I need. So while that pump is uh, filling up the fresh water tank, uh, let me ask you to please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well to be sure you won't miss any videos we put up. Okay, so each, this is the second one we're doing, each batch of the three gallons is taking three quarters of a cup of bleach. Uh, I did measure this out with a regular cup to be sure that that's what it was. And it'll, we'll add the fresh water into the bucket. And of course we're using just simple old Clorox bleach. And now what I'm going to do is plug the pump back in. And the pump should be primed enough. I'm going to move the bucket back just a bit without spilling it. Okay. okay, next I'm just going to disconnect our secondary clean freshwater hose. And we'll take it over here and we'll Hook it to the regular water. And I'm going to fill the tank. All right, so now while we're waiting for the water to fill up, how about smashing that thumbs up button and like the video and then subscribe as well. Uh, you can get some videos on anything I do in the future and let's just take a look and see where we are with the water All right, so what I've done is I've shut off the water the tank is inside is reading full I'm gonna go ahead now. I've shut all the water off completely just for the heck of it and let's take a walk around and Turn that pump on Okay, so I now have the water coming directly out of the fresh water tank. bit of a really smell. Now we're going to let that run as well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the other bathrooms and run them as well and get the lines cleared. Ok, 
Okay, so now I've run the water through the lines. I could get the slightest hint of bleach in the lines, which is fine. And so I've run that through and I feel confident that I've bleached the lines through on all the water parts that I use. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water back on and the regular city water back on. And then what we're gonna do is let the water sit in the tank overnight and then tomorrow we'll dump it. Okay, so we've gone ahead and let the water sit overnight uh, in the tank. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and dump it out. Okay, now, so what we'll do is we will dump it by uh, turning the drain here. Just a little note, uh, I went ahead and you notice these little white caps that are on these two uh, point drains. Uh, I had them over here as well on the uh, on the uh, freshwater tank drain as well as the cold water drain. So I went ahead and I put two uh, valves on there to make life easier. Uh, the one on the right I can hook a hose to and uh, use it as a you know a, a hose of some type on the on the uh, this side of the motorhome if I like. And then the one on the left is the tank. So we're gonna go ahead and drain that. And we'll come back later. Okay, well that about does it. We've gone ahead and emptied what was left of the uh, bleach mixture of water that was in the uh, freshwater holding tank. What we're going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and put some clean fresh water in again and flush it back out one more time. If you'd go ahead and smash that like button below, uh, subscribe to us and hit that notification bell. You can see some videos we do in the future. And then uh, keep in mind the uh, mixtures uh, the that I actually got that off the internet. Uh, so you could find it anywhere, but what I have here, I'll put in the description below. So to how much per gallon you need. And uh, thanks again. Come back and see you for some more videos. I hope you enjoyed.